That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> he's here! <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the deal. If you've been following along with our videos, you know that this year I've got a place to hunt in Texas, I've got a place to hunt in Oklahoma, and I've got a place to hunt in Arkansas. So far, I've hunted in Texas and Arkansas, and unfortunately I've not put a buck on the ground yet. Um, I've had some encounters with some. Right now we're pulling up to the place we have permission to hunt on over in Oklahoma, and this video is just kind of going to kick off a series of hunts over here uh, until we get a tag field. And in Oklahoma you can kill two bucks, so if I kill a buck today I can still come back here and, and hunt some more. So. I've been out here a couple times. I've got a camera set up. I've got a little bit of corn out. From what I've seen on the camera, there are some really nice bucks over here. There's a really nice big 10 point. There's a good mainframe eight with some kickers that make him a 10 or 11 point. And uh, we've got a, a really, really wide mainframe eight as well. We've also got some, some smaller bucks that have been coming in more consistently. If one of them comes today, I'll probably just go ahead and let an arrow fly at him. And uh, then we'll come back out here and hunt for some bigger deer. But we just pulled up to the gate. We're about to go in here, get everything set up, put some camo on, get in a stand, and uh, see where the evening takes us. We got Daniel with us today too. He's gonna do some, some pig hunting. He doesn't have a license, but he's taking care of business right now. <laughs> November 29th. We're back over here in Oklahoma for another hunt. Uh, me and Daniel were over here I think about a week ago and uh, we sat for probably three or four hours. It was our first sit here so we we're just kind of getting the lay of the land and everything and it actually went a lot better than expected. I had two bucks come in on me. One of them was a little four corn and the other I think was a six. I think he had some brow tines but um, the six didn't give me a shot at him and uh, I wouldn't have messed with the four corn anyways but we're back out here. I'm gonna go back over to my spot where I've got that stand set up. Daniel's ready to go and uh, he's gonna go off down here in some woods maybe hunt these fields and uh, see if he can see some pigs or anything. But I'm gonna take you guys back here with me. We're gonna grab the bow. We're gonna go back here to our stand and uh, we're gonna get set up and hopefully it'll be a pretty exciting afternoon. We got warmer weather moving in today, which is weird. It's been probably 40s and 50s uh, for about a month now. And today it was just randomly 75. So we'll see how that has the deer moving. And uh, it's supposed to drop back down tonight. So it didn't last very long, but we're gonna see how it affects the deer. And uh, I'm gonna quit talking, grab my bow, and we're gonna go get set up in the stand.
so bad. I think I heard him go down. Oh, I just killed the biggest deer of my life. Are you kidding me? Oh my, oh my dude. Oh, oh, oh my shoulder hurts so bad. Dude, literally right here, right here to my left, literally 10 yards. I had killer cows right in front of me. How, you had what? Killer cows. They literally chased me. Here. Dude, I ran them off. I ran some off earlier. Okay, I'm going I'm I'm to call Big Daddy. He's probably going to want to come out here and help. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, what's B up, man? Big Daddy, I just killed the biggest deer of my life. Uh, no, I'm I just told I just told Grandma, I said, I'm going to get a call one of these nights from Cannon, and he might have to go up there and help him out. I just killed the biggest deer of my life, 15 yards to my left. <laughs> oh, Cannon! I, put, I, I shot high, at, but I, I think I hit him through the lungs. I, I was just calling to see if you would like to come, <laughs> come help out. <laughs> Holy crap, boys. We're going to give it some time. Big Daddy's on his way. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that happened. From having cows all around us and having to run them off, I was just so down about this evening and thought our chances were just gone. But I knew there was a buck behind those doe. I heard those doe come in and I just kept hearing something coming slow and I got a peek of his horns through the woods as he was coming at me and I was like, this is it, man, this is it. And he walked 15 yards right here, man. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather myself and I'm gonna get everything packed up. We're gonna head back to the truck and we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait and then we're gonna come track this deer, so. Oh, I'm pumped, man, I'm pumped. <sighs> All right, Big Daddy's here. Let the search begin, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's big, man. I think it's that big eight. I, the one behind the tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are we walking from here or are we driving yeah. my truck we'll up in there? Walk. See right in here? Oh, yeah. We got blood, boys. Oh, yeah, boys. I'm about to walk up on a toad. Oh, he's swinging. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, he's right there. Oh, my God. He's right there, man. He's right there. Oh, my God. He's huge. He's huge! He's huge! <laughs> oh my great my Golly. God. Boy, you smoked him. <laughs> a giant, man! He's a 10. He is. Oh my God. Cannon. Dude. Cannon, that's not the 10 on camera. No. I don't know what deer this is. I've never seen this deer in my life. Well, you're getting to me <laughs> up close and personal right now, Cannon. Oh my, oh my gracious. <laughs> you nailed him. Oh my gosh. Oh, mercy, Cannon. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I told y'all he was big, boys. He's a toad, man. Oh, Lord. What a freaking deer, man. No kidding, Cannon. Oh, thank you, Lord. You have mapped this thing out perfect. I just picked your spot. Literally everything I said is what has happened. They came right out. All those deer just living back there and all that thick stuff. And I'm just sitting on the outs outside of it and they just 
came right to me. It's November 29th. We've been hunting since when we <laughs> when we start hunting? October 1st, wasn't it? Right. I've been hunting since October 1st. I've been in the stand probably more than I've ever been this year, just hunting hard. And I've got, I've been hunting on three different places and it just all came together today. This is, this is the first year I've hunted on this place and it's actually the second sit. I've been here one other time. I had a few little bucks around me, but nothing like this. I've had pictures on my trail camera of some big deer, but I've never seen, seen this deer in my life. But we came in here probably mid-October and put a stand up where where I kind of figured the, the deer would be coming out of their bedding area. And I mean, I had it had it nailed to a tee. He did exactly what I thought these deer were doing. It just all came together today and I could not be more happy with this deer. I think it's, I killed a 10 last year, but I, I think this deer's bigger. He's, he's big. He's, he's got a little, his little 10 points coming in, but I mean, as a mainframe eight, this dude is massive and I could not be more happy with him but thank you daniel thank you big daddy for helping me y'all help me put the stand up help me get the figure hung y'all y'all have done a lot for me so i appreciate all of it and man this is <laughs> this is awesome and i did it with a bow it's my first buck with a bow videoed it all everything just came together today and it, it's a really good feeling so <sighs> we're gonna get him taken care of get him back to the house and man this is <laughs> this is awesome guys <laughs> Well, it's a team effort, it hunt, is, hunting with I, cannons. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have helped a lot. Yeah, of course. And I'll be videoing y'all's hunts for the rest We're of the We're all time. happy for you, Cannon. You uh, got your first bow kill this year I with know. a doe in Texas. Now I've, we've, I haven't killed anything with a rifle this year. I've killed everything with a bow. And I'm, I think I've made a bow hunter out of myself. This is fun. This is what it's all about. <laughs> this is fun, man. All right, boys, let's... We got to get, get him out of here now. Oh, man. First off, I want to say how thankful I am not only for being able to harvest a buck of this size, but also for the people who allowed me to hunt on this property. And also just want to thank God for the part that he played in this. I'm just so passionate about hunting and about spending time in God's creation. And I'm so thankful that he has allowed me to be in a position where I can record and capture these hunts. And this is something that I've always been passionate about as far back as I can remember. I grew up hunting and when I wasn't hunting, I was playing hunting in the backyard. And if I could show this video to six year old Cannon in the backyard, running around filming his quote unquote hunts on his iPod, I can just imagine seeing the smile on his face and I can just hear him saying you mean this this video is something that that we made and I'm so thankful that God instilled a burning passion for his creation inside that little boy's heart and I'm thankful that he's allowed me to fulfill those dreams that I had as a child but all of this makes me think about all of the little things in our lives that we can be ungrateful for at times. The simplest of which could be each and every day in itself. Not only should we be thankful for the entirety of a day in its own, but there are also so many little things within each day that we can be thankful for. In Psalm 118 verse 24 it says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Every day is a gift from God, and I feel like we take that for granted sometimes. Not only should we be thankful for the day itself, but we should be thankful for everything that happens within that day. Everything that we know as humans is God-given. It is a gift from God. And without Him, we would be absolutely nothing. We would not even be here. We would have no thoughts. We would be nothing. And God tells us that by prayer and supplication, we should give thanks to our God. But some people might ask, why is it hard to be thankful? Why can it be challenging for us to give thanks to our God. My answer to that is simply the world. If we look close enough around us, we can see Satan working in almost everything within this world. Satan wants us to turn to him. And we do that when we desire the things of this world more than we desire a relationship with our God. So how can we not fall into Satan's trap of taking things for granted and desiring things of the world more than we desire a relationship with our God? I have four things that I believe can help us overcome Satan. The first of these points is being fired up for God. I made this point in a previous video talking about how we should be more fired up for our God than we are about the things of this world. There's many things in my life, and I'm sure in yours as well, that you can think of that you've put before God at some point or another in your life. And those things that we put in front of our God, we need to be able to take the desire that we have for those things and desire our God just as much. The second point I have is that we should follow God's plan and not the world's. Each and every day we have choices that we face, whether or not we make the right choices or our decisions. God has a plan for us. Whether or not we choose to follow that plan is our choice. The world will try to get us to get off track and lose sight of the plan that God has for us. But we have to learn when we're in those situations and we have to make the right decisions and try to live out the plan that God has for us. The third point is that we need to understand that we will fall short. We're all sinners. 
We all have fallen short, and it is more than likely bound to happen again. But we have to understand that when we are in a relationship with our God, He is always there and He's always waiting to help us get back up. The analogy I made in the last video was that He's always ready to help us get sighted back in. And the last point is the one that I talked about in this video. We need to be thankful. We need to be thankful for each and every day and for everything that God has blessed us with. If we practice these four qualities, I believe that we can be the light within this very dark world. If we practice these things, not only will we have a great relationship with our God, but we will be an encouragement to all those who are around us and will truly be a light within this world. So my challenge to you is not only to be thankful, but to be a light.